Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, we're going to continue with our platforming um, tutorials. And um, with this particular one, um, on our last video, we were dealing with the shield and just kind of getting a basic understanding of how it works. In this video, we're going to start trying to tie all of the melee into attacking or being attacked, reducing health, that sort of thing. But before we even do that, we have to have uh, some things pre-set up. And one of the things we're gonna need is a new module. Um, this is going to require the stats module. Uh, the stats module is going to help us with doing health and just general stats for our player. Now, this is a very simple game. And so, as far as I'm concerned for this, we're gonna just be focusing on health. We may have some other stats, but specifically just health for both the player and for the enemies. Um, so before we do that, we're going to go ahead and download the stats module. And then after that, we're going to start thinking about a game manager, something to hold our UI in. Okay. So that's going to be for this video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is head over to the unity asset store. And once you get to the unity asset store, um, generally what you want to do is go ahead and search for game creator and then once you do that just select game creator and there's going to be a bunch of different uh, modules that we would want to add and we're going to touch on quite a few of these but for the one we're going to need is going to be called stats so this is what that looks like um, i have purchased all of these already of course um, but uh, you can take a look at these and decide uh, which modules you're going to want to add. But is, if you're following this particular tutorial, um, definitely the stats module is going to be needed. So once you've purchased this, um, you're going to, of course, head over to the uh, window and you want to go into the package manager. OK. All right. So once you're in package manager, just like any other uh, particular uh, module or uh, asset, you just go ahead and type in the name here. And in this case, it is just called stats and just make sure that you have my assets um, enabled there. All right. And so once you do that, you're good to go. So then you just go ahead and select import. All right. And so you can just kind of leave it the way it is and just go ahead and hit import there as well. All right. And it doesn't take that long. I'm just going to hit import again to make sure everything is good there. Perfect. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and close this, close this. I'm going to head over to game creator and head over to the module manager section here. All right. So here, as you can see, we have this here. So first thing you want to do before you even install the stats examples, you want to go ahead and click on stats and then hit enable. And it just might take a little bit of time. All right, so this is going to be all the different parts of this particular module that we're going to add. So go ahead and hit import. And we'll wait for that. And of course, once that has been um, imported, it's going to just show that it's ready to go. Um, you have update, disable and remove. We're not going to do that. Now, if we want, we can also do stats um, examples. So I'm going to go ahead and actually enable that as well, just in case we may need it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit import there. And once it says uh, the module has been successfully uh, enabled, um, I would recommend just go ahead and keep it. Great. So now we have everything ready to go for installing the stats module. Perfect. All right. So um, that's pretty much it for installing the stats module. I want to keep this video actually pretty short. So the next thing, um, that I wanted to do very quickly is uh, talk about how we're going to go about our UI. Generally speaking, our UI is going to be uh, comprised of a game manager, and a game manager is going to hold all of the UI for each scene. So I think actually what we'll do is go ahead and put that in the next video. This is just a simple letting you know this is what we're doing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. For the next set of videos, I'll be releasing one every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So to stay up to date on the latest 3D platforming tutorial, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support, you can find me on Patreon or, of course, you can hit me up on Discord. I like to talk about whatever project you guys are working on. Of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, 
Never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.